Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's part three of my playthrough of Malta Besieged, a solitaire game by Steve Carey and published by Worthington Publishing. In the last video, we finished the first epoch, the first deck, and I don't think we've done too bad. We've pushed the Italian army all the way back to Tripoli. The Luftwaffe is there, but it's uh, a little way back, as is the Italian Air Force and Navy. The second epoch deck has been shuffled and the seeded card is on the top of the deck. So let's have a look at it in the headline phase. And that first card is, as you probably know, Rommel arrives. Three actions. The arrival of Erwin Rommel, the Desert Fox, in February 1941 began a new dynamic phase of the war. So we've got a little asterisk next to the Italian army, and it says we've got to flip that counter to the Africa Corps. It does not advance. Place the Tobruk fault unit in the holding box. The Tobruk Falls marker in the Tobruk box and the Rommel's situation marker in its minus one DRM box and the Luftwaffe and the Italian Navy are going to advance. So next is the military phase and the Luftwaffe are advancing and so is the Italian Navy. We flip the Italian army over to the Africa Corps side. <laughs> Not very nice. It doesn't advance. We place the Tobruk fortification counter up in the holding box. And incidentally, about these fortifications and their numbers can be a little confusing. The Malta one starts with a fortification of two but Tobruk does not start with a fortification of four or El Alamein fortification strength of one. These are just the box numbers. We have to fortify them with those separate counters. Jib over here, that's a fortification strength of two, not the box number. We've also got to place this Tobruk Falls counter in the Tobruk space. To remind us about that and this Rommel's situation counter goes on the minus one space. So at the moment if we want to attack the Africa core we've got a minus one DRM on it. This will move up and down due to certain circumstances. If we successfully attack the Africa core and push them back their supply situation, his situation gets better and so the DRM gets worse the more we push him back. It'll move up the other way to our advantage giving us positive DRMs by as it says here instructions on an event card and also each time we make a successful raid which this card as you'll see in a moment will allow us to do. And just like pushing fronts back or increasing resources we can try and raid Rommel's supply convoys, and if we're successful, his supplies get worse, his situation moves to the right, and we get a better chance of pushing them back. So that's all the movement done and the new counters added. It's now the resources phase. It says none, but increase the Malta fault level by one to a maximum value of four. I think I mentioned this in the last video. So if you manage to get to the second epoch, even if you haven't fortified Malta, you can increase it. But we have, and that's why I didn't increase it to four, because now we can, as it says, to a maximum value of four. DRMs, minus one Africa core, plus one for the Luftwaffe, and the fortify action, and there's a little space there for it. And as I mentioned earlier, 
raid actions are now allowed. So three actions, what we're gonna do, it might be prudent to try and fortify to Brook because as I just mentioned, that's not a four value. That's the number of the, the, uh, the box. So let's try that for our first action. We're gonna try fortify to Brook. We get a plus one for that. So we get our little dice tail back. So plus one on that. We need a two or more. Six, brilliant. A natural six, as I think I've mentioned, is an automatic success. A natural one, you fail. Oh, and take one of them off. We can't fortify to Brook again this turn. So I think we will attempt to push back the Luftwaffe there. We've got a plus one. They can be a problem. So we need a three or more to push those back. Let's take an action. Five. Oh. And our last action. Yes, they're getting a bit near. So I think we'll try and push back the... Uh, Italian Navy, three or more. Oh, we are rolling well. Back they go. So it's now the housekeeping phase. And the only thing we are doing is refreshing the map by removing the DRM markers. So let's take those off, pop them back in the holding box. And we're ready for the next card. And the next card is, oh dear, Ark Royal sunk. The carrier Ark Royal, after delivering planes to Malta, was torpedoed by U-81 and sunk on the 14th of November 1941, about 30 miles east of Gibraltar. Operation Astrologer, an attempt to rush two unescorted freighters to Malta backfired when both ships were sunk by Italian torpedo bombers on the 15th of November. Oh dear. Three actions. So the Italian Air Force is advancing, but look, the U-boats are making an appearance by the looks of it, probably containing that pesky U-81. So what does it say? If U-boats not yet in play, place the U-boats unit in its number four Western Med space instead of advancing it. Ignore the Gibraltar fort this turn. So it's obviously bypassed the fort at Jib. Resources, oh crikey, minus one military, minus one morale. And for the orders phase, we've got a minus one DRM on military U-boats and the Regia Aeronautica and a plus one DRM on raid. Okay, let's sort that out. So the Italian Air Force moving closer into North Sicily. And here are the U-boats. Their starting box is up here and they'd have to come all the way round, get past the fortress at Jib and then into the Med. But no, they have bypassed it and start here. In the resources phase, we have a minus one on the military, oh no. And a minus one, oh, on the morale, down to zero. And that means we now get a minus one DRM on our resources rolls. And for the orders, we've got a minus one on military, on those U-boats. And the Italian Air Force, not good but a plus one on the raid, which at the moment isn't much use to us. So three actions, I think this is urgent. We could use ultra, but it's not gonna be any use for the resources. I think the best thing to try and do is move this morale back up, at least to here for future rolls. So let's do that, let's use an action. And we need a four or more because of this minus one. Four, brilliant. 
So that's back up to there. It's on here, isn't it? Remember? I know I said it's not much use at the moment, but we could try a raid and bring Rommel's situation to zero in case they start creeping forward, which they will. Not much point in trying the military. We need a six for that. U-boats are still pretty far back. Well, while we have a think, let's try a raid on Rommel's supply. It's a plus one, so we only need a four or more. Here we go. Five, yes. So that goes up to zero. So if we do have to push back the Africa core, there are no nasty DRMs. Right, last action. We could try the Luftwaffe, or we could push back the Italian Navy. Then we only need a three or more for that. Let's do that then. I know we're okay at the moment, but we mustn't forget Cunningham. Didn't use him for the last epoch, but we must keep him in mind. Anyway, more than two. Dear oh law. No, that's no good. Well, that's it. Highs and lows with that uh, turn. So the housekeeping phase, we just tidy up. And we move on to the next card. Black Winter. Do not like the sound of that. Two actions. And it says, as 1941 drew to a close, the Axis renewed the continuous bombing campaign against Malta. Enemy mines took a severe toll on Force K and on the 19th of December 1941, Italian commandos crippled two British battleships in harbour at Alexandria. Other heavy shipping losses nearly led to Malta being cut off. So we've got lots going on here. We've got the Luftwaffe advancing. Uh, the U-boats with its asterisk says, if not yet in play, place the U-boats unit in its number five Atlantic space instead of advancing it. No, they're already on the map. The Italian Navy is advancing and Rommel's situation is improving for him, moving to the left, so it's worse for us. And in the resources phase, no, we're going to lose one on every resource. And in the orders phase, a minus one on all resources and raid, plus one on the Regia Marina. Well, by the looks of it, I think we'll be using these actions to try and push up these resources again. Not a nice card at all. So here come the Luftwaffe into West Sicily. The U-boats are coming all the way round to North Africa. The Italian Navy advances dangerously close to Malta, and this moves back. Minus one on all resources for the resource phase. And look, we can't do any raids. Or one attack or air support. Don't think we'll be doing any attacks. We'll be concentrating on getting these resources back, I think. But first we need to put on the DRMs. All resources minus one and raid. But a plus one for the Italian Navy. So yes, I think we'll be trying to get this morale up. It's gonna be a minus two. So we need a five or a six. So fingers crossed. Three, no, no good. Got to try it again. Or do we push back <laughs> the, the Italian Navy? We could use Ultra to have a crafty look at the next card, but no, no. I think on reflection, in case the Italian Navy get any daft ideas, I think we better try and push them back and hope that uh, we can try and sort out these resources in the next turn. So plus one DRM for the Navy, 
So we just needed two or more. Three, good grief, just about. Back they go. That's all our actions done. We've only got one supply left, so we won't be using that for an action. So it is now the housekeeping phase, and we just tidy up, remove these counters, and hope next time we get a much better card. Right, let's see what it is. And the next card is, oh, First Battle of Sert. Three actions. Tobruk was finally relieved in early December 1941. The Germans transferred portions of another air group, FK2, to the Mediterranean from the Russian front. Additional ships en route to join Force K at Malta sank two Italian cruisers, yet another blow to the Regia Marina. Commonwealth assets were steadily drained in the wake of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. So the Luftwaffe is advancing and its battle value is increasing back to four. The Italian Navy is advancing again and here come the Africa Corps. But because of that, Rommel's supplies will get worse and the Rommel situation counter will move one to the right. Oh, Plus one morale for the resources, that's good. And a plus one DRM for military, Africa Corps, and the Regia Marina. Okay, let's sort that out. So the little asterisk says, after advancing, the Luftwaffe unit's battle value is adjusted up to four, if it's currently at three, which it is. So that moves down, knocking on the door and is now increased to four. The Italian Navy is also knocking on the door. Rommel's Africa Corps advances to El Hagila, but because of that, his supplies are stretched. So we move that to zero to our advantage. So that's the military phase. Resources, plus one morale, that's good. And for the orders, plus one military, which is excellent, plus one Africa Corps, and plus one on the Italian Navy. So what are we gonna do? So I think with our first action, we'll try and increase the military because at the moment we can only attack one of those fronts. So here we go, we need a four, five, or a six because of that DRM. Six, that's excellent. At least now we can attack more than one front and I think, oh, I've got to take a action. I think for our second action, we'll try the Italian Navy because that's got a plus one and hopefully we're successful with that and then we might well use the last action to push back the Luftwaffe if we can. So we need a two or more. Five, that's good enough. Back go the Navy. And the last action, bit of a long shot, but we'll try it for the Luftwaffe. Five or a six, come on. No, one, automatic fail. Can't use any supply, we're down to our last supply. So I think that's it, we're in the housekeeping phase. We'll remove the DRM markers. And it's time to look at the next card. And the next card is Malta, reinforced. On the 27th of April 1941, 24 Hurricane fighters flew from the deck of the Ark Royal to Malta, which also received a group of additional planes plus four modern fleet destroyers. A fast transport from Alexandria also made it safely to Malta. The Axis did not fare as well, losing a convoy and several escorts off the coast of Tunisia. Three actions. We've got 
the Italian Navy and the Africa Corps advancing. Oh, we do get a plus one on the military and a plus one DRM on the military, Africa Corps and raid. Okay, let's sort that out. So here comes the Italian Navy again and the Africa Corps. Oh dear, to Benghazi. We get a plus one on the military, which is good. And a plus one on the military. The Africa Corps and the raid. Well, we've got three things which are threatening us. Let's try, that's on zero. Let's try and push back the Africa Corps. I really want to try and improve these other two resources, but that's impossible at the moment. So, Africa Corps. We need a four, five, or a six. No. Let's try again. Yes, yes. Back to El Aquila. But this does move down now. So the next time we'll have a minus one. Unless we do a raid. But things are banging on the door. So our last action, let's try and push back Italian Navy as it's the, in inverted commas, the easier of the two. So we want three or more. Oh no, we are not having great luck. That's it. We're into the housekeeping phase. We've pushed back the Africa Corps, but the Italian Navy and the Luftwaffe are threatening Fortress Malta. So let's see what the next card brings. And the next card is, oh, Operation Substance, a red banner. So it's a convoy battle. In late July 1941, a multi-ship convoy sailed from Gibraltar. It was a dangerous mission that saw one ship run aground, attacks from the Italian Air Force, and even a torpedo boat assault from the Italian Navy was endured. The Italian 10th Light Flotilla also made a brave, desperate bid to attack Malta's Grand Harbour. Once again, three actions. The Italian Air Force and Navy are moving forward. Luckily, not the Luftwaffe, but the Italian Navy will be trying to breach the Malta Fortress. And then we have this convoy battle. Three supplies at stake. Resources will get a plus one on our military or increase the Malta fault level by one to a maximum of four. It's already at four, so we will be increasing the military. We get a minus one though on the Regia Aeronautica, but a plus one on supply, the Luftwaffe and the Italian Navy. So this is quite a, an important uh, round. Let's see how we fare. So in the military phase, we'll move the access units. So we've got the Air Force, good grief, coming in to Malta. We've also got the Navy trying its luck to get through there. And then it's the convoy. So we'll do the Regia Marina's attempt. They've got to throw a five or a six though. So fingers crossed. Two, no, we push them back. They don't get through. Now it's the convoy battle. Now the problem is we've got the Luftwaffe, we've got the Navy and Air Force and the U-boats. I think we're going to use an action to get ultra fired up. So we're going to pop that there. I'm going to throw and see if we're scuppered with our intelligence. We don't want a one. Oh. Two. So we're popping that over there. That means now if we get any of those red numbers rolled, 
they will count as a miss. So fives and sixes by the look of it, there aren't any on the U-boats, but my goodness, let's see what happens. So we'll try the Luftwaffe first. Oh my, oh, it's a six, great. That's counted as a miss because that's a red critical hit. So that's a miss, great. Next, it's the Italian Air Force. Five, that's another red one. That's another miss. The Italian Navy. Come on, throw a five or six again. Three. Oh no, that's just a hit. And lastly, the U-boats will hit us on a four to six. It's a six, would you believe it? Right. So two hits, which we'll sort out in the housekeeping phase. So we're down to the resources phase. We get a plus one military or increase the mortar fault, which you said earlier, but no, that's already at four. So we're going to increase the military. For the orders phase, we get a minus one on the air force, which is a shame, but a plus one on supply, the Luftwaffe, who are still a threat, and the Italian Navy. Right, we've got two actions left. Do we spend it on air support, which will give us a minus one on our dice rolls for those convoy hits, or do we try and push back some of these? Yeah, I think we've got to try and push back. It's getting a bit dodgy around the neighborhood of Malta, so I think we'll use an action that's uh, minus one for the old Air Force, isn't it? Yeah, I think we'll use an action for the Luftwaffe and one for the Italian Navy. Yeah, those supplies that turn up when the convoy arrives, we can't actually use unless we get that free action for getting some supplies safely to shore. So yeah, I think we'll try an action. Let's try the Italian Navy first. We need a two or more. Five, that'll do. Back they go. Last action. Yeah, it's got to be the Luftwaffe. We need four, five, or six. Oh, lovely. Back go the Luftwaffe to West Sicily. Let's ease the pressure a bit. My thinking is, if we get that bonus action, we can try and push back the Italian Air Force, although it will have a minus one on it. But that's it. That's all our actions. We're not using supply for an action because we've only got the one left. So it is the housekeeping phase. And the first thing we do is the convoy arrival. It is Operation Substance which is this one here. They've got two hits. Here's the first one. Two. That's a no loss. Let's see if we can do that again. Oh, five. No, we've lost a supply. But we get two supplies coming in, and because of that, we get our bonus action. So not too bad at all. Brings us up to three. I'm going to use the bonus action to try and push back the Italian Air Force. I can't use any of the supply for actions now because we're in the housekeeping phase. So we get one crack at it. Got a minus one, so we need four, five, or six. No, 
So two, we fail. That's the end of that then. Let's have a tidy up and remove these counters. It's a shame, I just hope they don't come advancing again. Pop those back. We pop the Ultra back in the holding box as well. And we move on to the next card. And it is Force K. A new Force K was formed at Malta in late October 1941 to target Axis shipping. Initially consisting of two cruisers and two destroyers, it was soon reinforced. On the 8th of November 1941, Force K annihilated the Axis Beta Convoy in a daring night action. Operation Perpetual delivered more Hurricane fighters to Malta. Well, hopefully this is a good one, but it doesn't look like it. Two actions only. The asterisk by the U-boat is telling us that if the U-boats aren't already in play, place them on the map, but they're already there. So the Italian Air Force is advancing, as are the U-boats and the Africa Corps. And Rommel's situation, of course, because he's advanced, moves to the right. Not actually a nice card at all. Resources-wise, though, we do get a plus one military and a plus one morale. And in the orders, we get a minus one DRM for supply and U-boats, but a plus one for the Italian Air Force. But they're going to be advancing, so fingers crossed. Let's have a look at that then. So the Italian Air Force is advancing, but look, again, an attempt to breach the Malta Fortress is occurring. Now, do we use Cunningham up the top here or take a chance that they won't get through? I think there's been a couple of times I've forgotten about Cunningham, but it would be better to try and use it for the Luftwaffe. But let's have a think. What else is happening? The U-boats are coming round and the Africa Corps is advancing to Benghazi. And this is moving one to the right. Do you know what? I think I will use Cunningham because I'm forgetting about him. So we turn him over, pop him back in his space. That means that that stays there. Resources, plus one military and plus one morale. Fantastic. DRMs though, we've got a minus one on supply and the U-boats. But a plus one on the Air Force, which is handy. So not much to think about there. I think we'll use our first action to try and push them back. We need two or more. Three. So they go back to here. And our second action. Well, they're getting a bit close for comfort. We'll try the Africa Corps. No DRMs, we need a five or a six. Oh, no. Tell you what, let's use, let's use a supply and try again. Five or a six. Oh, no. I think that's it. Not gonna use any more supply. It is now the housekeeping phase. We'll get rid of all of this. And here we go again with the headline phase. And the next card is Evacuation from Greece. After the Axis port at Tripoli was bombed on the 20th of April 1941, the Royal Navy was hard pressed to evacuate Commonwealth troops 
from the disaster in Greece throughout the week of April 24th. Mountbatten led a group of destroyers from Malta to support the withdrawal. The British suffered heavy losses at sea. So only two actions. The Africa Corps is going to try and advance into Tobruk. The Luftwaffe are going to reduce down to a three, but they won't advance. But Ultra is committed, which means we can't use it this turn. Resources, minus one military and morale. And for the orders phase, a minus one DRM on all resources, but a plus one on the Luftwaffe and raid. Here come the Africa Corps. The Luftwaffe are reducing to three. And we can't use Ultra. So they're going to try and get into Tobruk. They've got to throw a three, four, five or six. Let's hope they don't do it. No, they are repulsed. I think we may try and improve the defences at Tobruk. So for the resources, minus one military, minus one morale. And the DRMs, we've got a minus one on all resources. Plus one on the Luftwaffe. And raid. Well, let's try and improve the defences at Tobruk. No. Oh, let's do it again. Yes. That is now three. Makes it a little harder for those Africa Corps troops to get in. That's it. It is now the housekeeping phase, which is going to remove the DRMs. Oh, come here. Do you know what? I think we'll leave it there. Well, there we go. This has been part three of a playthrough of Malta Besieged. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did and you haven't done so already, it would be wonderful if you would consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help. Pushing the like button of the video, the thumbs up, helps tremendously as well. And if you want to be informed of other content the channel uploads, then push the bell. Leave a comment. We're still hanging on. What do you think? Let me know. I love to read them. Thanks as always to my subscribers. Thank you very much indeed. And just before I go, if you wish to support the channel a little bit further, well now you can. You can buy the channel a coffee and I'll leave a link in the description for that. Or you can click the super thanks button on the video. And those help the channel to keep on ticking along. So, we've got the Africa Corps knocking on the door off to Brook this time. So join us for the next video to see what happens. But until then, as always, you take care and goodbye.